In the previous lecture, we have seen how to use different permissions and now we'll see how to perform form validations. Hi, welcome back. Now we'll see forms and its custom validations and error message. So for that, first we'll look at the form of uh, create book or uh, you can say that you already login into the admin but uh, Okay, fine. Log out. Okay, so we got the login form, registration form, and if I click on register, and uh, this is the validations which is provided by Django. But we want our custom validation. So just first login into the admin to show you what we'll have to see okay just refresh it add book okay fine so this is the custom validation which is provided by the Django so we'll customize this form and we'll use our custom validations that means if we make it blank name blank or author blank or price blank then it will show us the pop-up not pop-up but uh, custom validation message which is provided by us just go through the book form and okay so first I'll show you the long way and after that I'll show you the more efficient way so just uh, check out the fields so we have the fields that is name so name forms dot care field and uh, max underscore length is equal to suppose 10 and uh, we can make a help text help underscore text uh, this is the parameters of the forms care field uh, we can show all the we can see all the parameters from Django forms and uh, form fields so just go through the just go through the Google and write down Django forms okay just go through the link Django forms and uh, <clears throat> working forms so this is all the forms means uh, forms in Django so we can use this and building a form we can build any form uh, like this and uh, okay so the parameters which we can use is provided over here just like uh, so help text we can make the help text by writing anything in this field uh, write your name write your full name okay fine so just save this and uh, go through this just refresh it so this is the help text we can place it uh, we uh, Django provided the help text over here and we can place it uh, for as many fields as we want just like I placed it in the name you can place it in author price as well and etc etc so and this is what the Django provides by default this is the widgets and we'll see what is the widget in the Django in detail over here but uh, this is the widgets which uh, Django provides by default so this is the default price which is already set by the Django whenever we declare integer field so just go to this and uh, this is the help text and uh, to display the error messages we need to define the parameter like error messages okay and in the curly braces we need to specify required and this is the key and we need to pass it the value name field is uh, required okay fine so just uh, go through this and refresh the page and uh, 
submitted. Okay, this is because actually we have used the crispy form, so it is provided its own validation. But uh, if you want our own validation, just let's check it and uh, models dot pi. We need to specify the Django forms. So book create. Let me specify not crispy but uh, sp okay fine just save it and just let's check it try it once again okay something is not good okay fine so just uh, error messages this reads restart the server and save it and home add book okay so not crispy but uh, submit uh, let's check it out why it is not working just uh, go to the views and uh, we have seen how to perform form validations in next lecture we'll see how to create django forms in our template